Hey guys, welcome to Maker Tales. In this video, I'm going to be creating my first cardboard table. So, to get started, I've got some dimensions here. I know that I want it to be 1 meter 10 in height, 70 in width, and I think it's 40 in depth. So I'm going to quickly sketch out some ideas here. Once I find a sketch that I like, that I'm going to go with, I'm going to then go and put it into 3D in Rhino, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I have my first plans here. So let's bring you closer so you can take a look. All right, do excuse the really bad drawing because I'm not good at this. This is more for myself and reference when I'm doing the 3D, but basically, in a nutshell, we're going to be doing a cross shape design. So this is the entire table. We're going to have the top bit, a uh, second, almost under shelf, but this is mainly for support because it's going to be a meter high and normally meter high tables have some sort of under support, especially as we're going to be making this out of cardboard. Now, I still don't know if this is going to be enough support. It might splay out. If it splays out, then we've got to create this differently so that it slides up from the bottom. I might even do that in 3D anyway because I think that's going to be a better idea than clipping it in because it can the legs could still splay out. And then this is the top part. The top part is going to have little holes because what's this here is this part here. Here there's going to be a little extra bit of cardboard here and that little extra bit of cardboard is going to slot into the top slot. The cardboard we are using is 13 millimeter. I think it's three? One, two, yeah, three ply cardboard. So it's pretty thick stuff, pretty sturdy stuff too. So let's see what happens. Anyway, let's take that to the 3D and get to it. Now guys, I'm just gonna be doing a time lapse of this. So if you actually want me to do an entire tutorial of how to model something in Rhino, let me know and I'll do it. But for now, I'm just gonna speed this up and you'll see the whole modeling process and I'll show you the end result. Alright, so I've finished modeling the table. So here it is in 3D. This is just surface, so it's very planar, so very flat. And then I've already gone ahead and turned this into a design that can get cut. So here it is from the top view. So we've got the two legs. Now I do realize that once I slot these together, obviously this is a right angle, this is a right angle. When I put them into that slight angle, there's gonna be tension there. Hopefully we can use that tension to our advantage to just hold it all together. And yeah, then here I've got rid of the double lines. So then this is gonna be doing one cut and it should basically come out nicely. We've got two bits of cardboard here and let's go and cut this out and see what happens. Oh, and also these little bits here, I've decided that I'm gonna slide this up and then these are gonna go underneath to lock the shelf in because I'd rather have these the right length than to basically structurally weaken the legs. So let's go with this idea. And by the way, I'm sorry I don't have a screen capture program yet on here, but this is the best I can do right this moment.
Ta. All right, so I think it's fair to say that this one's turned out into a bit of a fail. I think I'm using too thick a cardboard because, well, I just started a fire. Small one, but right there, I just realized all of a sudden there's glowing ember on the table. I'm just like, what's going on here? And yeah, small fire being made. Definitely got to reevaluate what's going on. But I'll see what I can do. I'm going to try and save the project. If I can't, oh well, lesson learned. That 13 millimeter cardboard is not a good idea to cut. We'll go forth. Let's see what happens next. So, I was able to rescue the other file, however, just now, and the reason why there isn't a recording of it is because the camera's plugged into the mains power, we still haven't, there's a little spider right in front of the lens. There you go, little guy. Um, basically, power cut, because we still don't have the right kilowatts for the workshop. So I've got to now let the general on the street cool down before we finish this cut. It was literally on the last cut. So I've got to now modify the file yet again to make this work. But there will be a table made, even if I have 15 fails and I'm here till midnight. We can do this. Okay, the cut has happened, it's done. Now let's hope the design, thank you compressor, the design works. So I recut out the top because that was one of the burnt pieces. We've got a burn line, which we're gonna keep burn. We've got slots from the bottom, and we've got the little bit. So, what's the best way to do this? Probably slots from the bottom first and then head on up from there, right? Good job, I hope everything fits. I really hope everything fits. I remember I did say that these are 90 degree cuts. So I'm going to have to put a bit of tension on the cardboard here to get it to fit. But that's, hopefully that will work to our advantage and not a structural problem instead. Oh, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. Alright, those are the holes. Let's get that back up. Let's add the little notches so that they will stay up. Oh yeah, that feels sturdy. Okay. Moment of truth. Will this go on top? Right, I need to sort my hands out because this is, I don't want to stain the top bit. I have some latex gloves, let's do that.
It is fitting, just needs a bit of coaxing in. Oh! Just seen it right now while editing and my camera ran out of memory right at the crucial moment where I actually put it all together. But basically, very, very happy. It came together. I cannot believe that it worked. Basically, first try. Ignore the, f the things that happened. Apart from that, it's worked out well. As you can see, that's an image of it because I didn't take many other images. Silly me. I should have taken more images, but there it is and all together. Anyway. Thanks for watching. That there is how to make a cardboard table from scratch. If you have any suggestions of something that you would like me to make, or if there's anything like the tutorials that I said I could do, let me know and I'll go ahead and do it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more like this and follow me on the journey. And as always, let the quest continue.